Hey, what's up everyone? Kevin here. In this video, I wanna share with you guys some tips to help you progress with your butter tricks. Butter tricks are basically when you press into the nose or tail of your snowboard, and by pressing into your board, it opens up a lot of different variations of tricks that you can create and get creative with. The best thing about butter tricks is that you can do them pretty much anywhere from a static position on the snow to a mellow run and even in the terrain park. In this video, I'll show you how to progress with your butter tricks, where to start, some of the biggest mistakes to avoid, and what skills you need to be successful. To start, you can practice the fundamental buttering skills just on a flat surface. On a flat surface, you can really master the skill of moving your weight over top of the nose or tail of your snowboard, getting into that press, holding it, and just overall mastering that feeling. The mistake to avoid here is pulling on your leg to flex your board. Instead, you wanna move your weight over top of the tip of your board. And by really moving your weight, that's gonna be the thing that flexes your snowboard and gets you into that press. One thing that can make learning this much easier is to make sure that you have a softer flex snowboard. I recommend a snowboard with a flex rating of four and lower, and with a softer flex board, it's gonna make learning this so much easier. The next place to progress with your butters is to take them to a mellow slope where you can get into the press while you're moving. Here, you're gonna have the challenge of holding the press while staying balanced, but if you can master this skill on a green run, then it's really gonna to start to unlock a lot of different butter tricks. A few things to help you hold the press as you ride. One is you can actually reach down with your hand towards the snow to help you really sink in and hold the press. Two is to think of keeping your shoulders square to your snowboard. This will help keep your press straight as you go. If you start to turn your shoulders, then your snowboard will wanna turn with it. And the last thing is to find a slope that is fairly level. Once you get into the press, your snowboard is automatically gonna to start to run down the fall line. So make sure that the run is fairly level so that you can hold the press going straight. Next, you can progress with your butters by adding in rotation. By adding in rotation, it's gonna open you up to a lot of different butter tricks. A good one to start with is the butter nose roll. There's a few key elements that come together to create this trick. The first thing you wanna do is carve into the nose roll. By carving into the nose roll, it's gonna create some pressure on your snowboard so that you can commit and hold the press. Next, you wanna create the spin by winding up with your shoulders back, turning them forward to create that rotation, bringing your board around 180. The final element is to bring everything together with timing so that as you turn your shoulders to create that spin, you're getting into the press and then holding it until that butter nose roll comes all the way around. One thing to be aware of as you progress with your butter spins is not catching your downhill edge. So always make sure as you're spinning, you're aware of that edge and you're keeping it up out of the snow. The next way to progress with your butter tricks is to take them to rolls or knuckles on a jump and start adding in some air. By adding air into your butters, it's again just gonna open you up to a lot of different butter tricks to experiment with. One of my favorite butter tricks with air is the butter 180s. And this trick is great because you can start out doing it on the slope before taking it to the knuckle of a jump. The key for adding air into your butter tricks is to start off by getting into the press and holding it then releasing that pressure so that your board comes up into the air and then getting back into the press and then holding it again until you're ready to release that pressure again. A skill that you can practice which will really help to improve your butter tricks, especially when adding air, is to do ollies and nollies off the knuckle and not just doing them your regular way, but also practicing them switch. By practicing these skills regular and switch, it's really gonna make you comfortable and balanced on any tip of your snowboard. A quick recap of the butter progression. Start on a flat surface where you can get the fundamental skills down, then take them to a mellow run where you can really challenge your balance. Next, start to add in some rotation to the butters. And then finally, take them to a roll or knuckle where you can start to add in some air. Just remember, a soft flex snowboard will really help you to learn these butter tricks. If you have any questions about progressing with your butters, hit me up down in the comments. I'll also put links to some of my gear down in the description if you wanna check it out. Make sure to subscribe here to Snowboard Pro Camp, and I'll catch you in the next video soon.